For my presentation, I will be talking about my friend, Christina Kalo. Christina and I met through my best friend, who is her older sister, Catherine. I chose to do my presentation on Christina because she was the first person I had ever met with cochlear implants. Growing up together, Christina had educated me and showed me so much about the deaf culture and community. Christina has inspired me to pursue speech language pathology as well as deaf education. So who is Christina? Christina is 19 years old from Revere, Massachusetts. Christina is described as a smart, caring, energetic, and charismatic girl. She is currently a sophomore at UMass Boston, majoring in biology. Christina dreams of becoming a vet or helping animals in any way that she can. She currently works as a veterinary assistant and she loves her job. She has always loved to move around and be active. She has spent all of her life as a dancer, both recreationally and competitively. Christina also loves to stay active in other ways, such as going to the gym, going on walks, and playing with her dog, Oakley. Christina is the youngest child born into a completely hearing family. Christina is pictured here with her older sister, Catherine. She was born with complete deafness in both of her ears, meaning she was born with bilateral sensory neural hearing loss. According to ASHA, sensory neural hearing loss happens when there is damage to your inner ear. Since Christina has hearing loss in both of her ears, her hearing loss is bilateral. There are different causes of sensory neural hearing loss, which may include inner ear abnormalities, genetic variations, jaundice, or viral infections. Sensory neural hearing loss can be managed in some cases with hearing aids, and in more severe cases, it can be surgically treated with cochlear implants. Christina received her first cochlear implant on her left side when she was one years old. Um, since Christina was so young, she doesn't have any recollection of this experience. She then received her second cochlear implant many years later at the age of 15. But when she was 18, she needed to get her most recent implant replaced due to malfunctioning of that implant. Christina attended Horace Mann's School for the Deaf from the ages of two to six, and then she transitioned to mainstream public school all the way through high school. Christina also received speech therapy through the ages of roughly 2 to 10 to develop clear speech. Christina says that her hearing loss has had both positive and negative effects on her life. She expe expressed to me that there are the obvious difficulties that she has experienced, such as difficulties hearing people and her surroundings, and there are also other struggles that she faces. She says that the most common thing that she struggles with is hearing her professors in a large lecture or when she's in a loud space and someone is trying to get her attention. On the other hand, Christina says that there are also some positives to her hearing loss. She says that if she ever needs to refresh or take a break throughout her day, she can just take off her hearing aids and sit and be silent and just rest. She also shared a funny aspect with me that when she gets in arguments with her sister or with her mom, she likes to take off her hearing aids to end the argument and says, sorry, I can't hear you, I'm deaf, and she walks away. Christina says that she's experienced discrimination due to her hearing loss in multiple ways. She says that many people think that they have the privilege to ask her rude or derogatory questions. For example, she has experienced people asking her things such as, Take your hearing aids off. I want to see if you can hear me. Christina faces many stares from people in public. She also expressed that many people think they have the ability to make comments regarding her disability. These comments even come from friends and her relatives. Christina wanted to make sure that I shared that hearing loss has taught her to always be yourself. And no matter what anybody says, you're always understood. And these are my references.